Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your weekly love forecast. Somebody who, someone feels left out in the cold, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for September 10th to 16th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Also, the Eye of Zen is up on Amazon.com. And I have a free reading contest going on at this time. So stick with me till the end for all the details, Gemini. All right. And I don't want to take up too much time, Gemini. So let's jump right in. What is going on with my Gemini's romantic love life for September 10th to the 16th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Now remember, Gemini, we're going to do the day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the block shading challenge, and then the overall outcome. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so this is going to be September 10th, September 11th, September 12th. Let's straighten out these cards here. September 13th, September 14th, September 15th. Let's move this up. And September 16th. Oh my goodness, quite a week here going on for you guys. Okay. I almost feel like someone's going to get on a bending knee for you mm -hmm. this week. Okay. So I'm also going to use the old style Lenormand Gemini to clarify further. So what is going on my Gemini's romantic love life for September 10th to 16th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's look at the energies that we see this week. So we see um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Uh, I also feel like, man, someone's trying to flirt with you on the 10th, okay? They're really going out of their way to flirt with you. Um, <laughs> they're being very obvious about it, okay? And then it looks like on the 11th, you're getting some kind of message of love. This person's like so like th there's like so much potential there. And then we see on the 12th, you guys are having these romantic gestures towards you with that Knight of Cups energy. It's like this person's like, I want to be here for you, Gemini. I want to be supportive for you. So let's see what's going on. Mm -hmm. This somebody is somebody potentially new here with that uh, child card energy. And then we see that doll car could be somebody who is a friend or someone who's being very friendly with you okay and then we got the love card energy coming out you see that new love uh-huh who could be a friend or someone who's being very friendly to you and we see it's kind of starting out as a flirty kind of energy there on that first day and then we see that okay it's getting a little serious here okay and then there's just an awareness that this person that there's feelings there okay it's kind of moving fast, isn't it, for you guys? Okay, so new friendship love, okay? Also could be saying fresh start, new opportunity, someone who's being loyal to love, heart curt energy. So let's go further. We're also going to use the eye of Zen Gemini to clarify even further here. All right, Gemini is romantic love life. September 10th to the 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see by the way also some of you may want to be careful about drinking this week i feel like you guys are going to get caught up in drinking some of you um all right so anyway so we see that there is on the 10th um uh, a bit of a crossroads you got a choice to make here about this flirty person here and then on the next day it's like oh my god gemini i am missing you and Oh my God, there's this message of love coming in for you guys with that Page of Cups energy. And then you're really going to know. You're going to know what the deal is here by the 12th because the book card talks about knowledge, knowing, okay? And what's it about? Love and romantic gestures. So a romantic day here and you're really going to know that there's love with this person, okay? 
Okay, so then we see on this day, there's the sense of, hmm, someone who is trying to be very giving and supportive, but it's almost like you're like, it's not really a balanced giving kind of energy there. And so someone feels kind of left out on that day with that Six of Pentacles energy. There we got the book card energy because of something secret here. And then let's see what that's about. Mm. Uh, because there is this lack of control here in gaining knowledge of how to bring things into balance or there's some sense of lack of uh, an equal give and take there on that day. Okay, so be careful. So I feel like this is the day that you need to be careful about the drinking. That it would be on the 14th. Um, I feel like uh, for some of you, you may be out and or at home and um, you know there may be a sense of this person's leaving me out in the cold okay kind of energy or there's a sense of regret and it's going to make you uh, turn to maybe too much drinking there okay so that's for some of you I do feel that though for some of you so be careful about that day please okay so let me why is my camera doing that okay come on camera focus focus let's try a, oh, the card there we see See how that person's kind of like looking and they look like they're holding like a wine glass and they're kind of like looking and then they're just kind of drinking and it just kind of like builds up there. Yeah, I see even that it's like a porch, almost looks like a porch or a balcony there. Okay, so because of the sense of regrets here of what happened, there's this kind of stuck energy, like there, there's a sense of, there's a stuck energy or this trapped energy on this day. So as I said, be careful about this day, be careful about this day. Okay, yeah, coffin card. You're, you're at the sense that something is ended and it's something to do with a person card coming out. Okay, and we keep going here on the 14th, there's a want to reconcile, to heal a situation and there is this nurturing supportive energy or the sense of I need to take care of myself with self-love here because of this person but then it turns around on the 16th so okay be careful about those two days there okay ace of pentacles is coming out like whoa okay there's huge potential here ace of pentacles some offer coming in and it's like all right let's start a family let's have some improvements and changes here and it's like this huge thing being presented here ace of pentacles energy Mm -hmm. and it brings in healing okay so let's go through this as a whole and don't worry I'm gonna go over everything at the end here so stick with me till the end there's some indecisions because this person or some indecisions about whether or not this person is really missing you you're trying to gain knowledge and take control of a reconciliation or this person is with you and there is a sense of nurturing and healing energy around it okay let's keep going Gemini Okay, something to do with this fresh start, new opportunity, someone who's being friendly uh, when it comes to love and trying to gain knowledge about ending, stopping, or completing something with a person for improvements and changes. Okay, and then going further, there is this flirty kind of potential energy here with the Page of Wands and this message of love, new potential for, for love here and romantic gestures. But then there's a sense of somebody's not doing something above board here. Something isn't an equal give and take and you're having this regret and feeling stuck there. But then the, the offer comes in, Ace of Pentacles energy. Okay, so just be careful about even this the stay here i mean it starts this day kind of here and then it goes into the stay here so you're aware of it now gemini so you know what days to watch out for okay because don't worry it's going to work out because we see that ace of pentacles there on the 16th okay so let's move into your love interest feelings we got the three of cups energy we got the king of wands energy the ace of wands energy mm. this person definitely has got some chemistry towards you gemini okay the key card the writer card again like the knight of wands energy there and the mountain card okay i wanted to see what the block shillies and count challenges are for this week okay so it's a lot of internal stuff going on here where you're isolating yourself you're looking at things deeply that's part of the block and challenge this week and also it's like 
a need to reveal something. That's the sun card energy. Okay. Let's keep going. Mm, and then we saw the child card energy, right? Family, long-term commitment. Like, all right. It's like you're looking at things deeply and revealing something about healing a family and long-term commitment or looking at, okay, is there going to be something pertaining to the long-term basis here? Okay. So let's look at your love interest feelings and I'm going to sum everything up with the, the overall outcome here. So this person really has a good time with you. You give them a sense of joy. They are very attracted to you. They have chemistry and passion for you and they would definitely like to gain knowledge about a new potential renewed passion with you. Okay, this person wants an opportunity to um, take an action towards their passion here. Uh, this person feels like there's some delays and challenges around this connection. They're trying to be patient here because they definitely are looking for some passionate energy, passionate exercises there, but they're concerned about these challenges, these uh, delays or how to overcome these obstacles that they're dealing with here in this connection. All right, let's keep going. Let's see the overall Alkai Gemini. Yeah, Four of Pentacles is telling me this person wants to hold on to you. They want to save you, hold on to you, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Trying to gain knowledge about a choice. High Priestess card energy. Oh my God, look how this person looks so depressed. They're like, oh God, Gemini. Oh my God, I've given up. You know, I keep writing letters to you and I tear them up and I can't, I can't, I just can't. That's what it looks like to me from that picture. It's just like this person's like, I give up, Gemini. You keep, you're on my mind. I want to hold on to you. I'm trying to gain knowledge and be an open book to you. Uh-huh. Travel, movement, change. Towards house and family, stability and stableness. This person's looking for something stable here. And we see there could be some arguments or fights. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, that, that could possibly have caused that stuck energy of feeling like something is in an equal give and take. Right? So this person wants some kind of stable situation. Uh, they want some kind of um, house, family kind of relationship there, but there may be some, some issues there, some arguments or hurt that causes this situation to happen where this person's like, oh no, you know? Yeah, there we go. They're obsessed with you, Gemini. And look at that. There's regrets there about that argument, that fight, that hurt, that pain. And so it's like, all right, I need to be wise in my decision making. Yeah, so you can see the central theme. What's going on here? There's movement, travel, change because of somebody wanting a stable uh, situation. Um, or they want to start a family. But there are some arguments and fights, repeating patterns here that someone's feeling really regretful about. And so it's like they're obsessed of holding on to you. They see that. They want some changes here. They want to hold on to you. They're trying to gain knowledge. Are you interested in something stable, Gemini? Because I totally have regrets about what happened. I keep thinking about you and I'm feeling hurt here. And I know you're a wise decision when it comes to love and romance here, Gemini. Yeah, they're, they're definitely hurt. Three of Swords energy. And they want to be happy with you. Ten of Cups energy. And there we go. Family long-term commitment. This person's really serious, Gemini. They want something, a serious long-term connection here. Okay. All right, my beautiful Geminis. I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, the next reading I'm going to release is the bi-weeklies. I'm going to use love interests, possibly, and then maybe do a singles read, completely separate singles read. So stay tuned for that. For the free reading contest, all you have to do is put Twin Flame in the comments below. I'm picking two people for a free personal reading. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you guys soon.